is still watching Joy News Prime and I'm back with the second half of business and we still want to stay on the new note that was issued by the Bank of Ghana. So it's in circulation now, but how much did it cost the central bank to print this new note? Judge Yafi has been finding out from head of currency processing at the Bank of Ghana, Dominic Ousu. But first, he asked him how long it would take to face out the old notes. Bigger tender simply means that they must be accepted for payment for any economic transactions that is legal. They will be trading alongside the new versions until they are gradually withdrawn through the normal currency cycle. Mm. Yeah, and when I mean the normal currency cycle, when the currency goes out, eventually it comes back. It is processed. Those that are still found to be of good quality are recirculated. Why is those that are of poor quality, what we call the unfit, mm -hmm. is withdrawn as mm -hmm. mutilated and replaced. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The replacement exercise would always have the upgraded versions. But the good quality existing ones would continue to be accepted as a medium of payment. I used to sure. One would ask that, what is the cost of it? Because this would not come cheap for us, I would say. George, is it is the normal function of Bank of Ghana that once you introduce a currency, you monitor its progress during its life cycle. So constantly, we look for vulnerabilities in the material for making the banknotes, as well as its features with the due view to taking the appropriate response when it becomes necessary. So even without upgrade, periodically, we withdraw mutilated notes and replace them at a cost. So these upgrades are not only imbibing new technology, it is also cost effective. So if I, if I get you right, it's, it's within your budget that you would normally have uh, worked for or you have uh, projected or even spent within a year with respect to reissuing a currency note. Exactly so. So it's not costing us an arm and a leg to do this exercise? No, no, no. no, no. And, 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 and great on that one. So what, what, what is the, the, the round figure we're looking at here? <laughs> Quite a difficult one, right? <laughs> difficult one in the sense that it is something that we always do. Mm. Uh -huh. And so always we budget for it. Mm. We may not do it every year, but we monitor our stocks and when necessary, we go through the necessary tendering processes, mm. the necessary selection contracts are firmed up and then they are done. And everything will cost money. Mm. But we are always making sure that what we are going for. And one key thing in doing currency is that you want to make sure that the market value is far, far, sometimes thousand times in excess of the cost of printing the banknote. So it's within budgets, it's within the, co the, the accepted budget? Sure, it is within country. our accepted budget, and, and Ghana is not being short-seen short short at all. And what budget are we looking at? <laughs> I, I, I think that that one, I don't have permission to disclose. Okay. Every institution, and especially a sensitive one, like the Bank of Ghana, would have its own uh, information protection, mm. Codes. All right, so we still don't know the cost to the nation, but we are told that it's cost effective and it's within budget. Away from that, Railways Minister Joe Gatti says the development of Ghana's railway system has created 3,000 direct jobs. Speaking at the mid press series in Accra, the Minister of the Sector told that the, uh, the sector holds huge potential to solve the unemployment situation in the country. Top potential. It's enormous. It is unimaginable. One of the one of the placards that one of the I saw a young lady carrying on the recent May Day is that railway will create employment. 
There's nothing truer than that. Listen, just now we ran a 67 kilometers of railway line. 67 plus another 20 or so, about 100 kilometers, and we're employing about 3,000 people directly. And I'm not talking about the indirect employment. Can you imagine if we are running, what we are doing, what the president is doing now is about two, a little over 2,000 kilometers. Because if Accra, Tema is 300, Accra, Kumasi is 300. For the sake of argument, let's make it 300. Accra, Tema, sorry, Sekendi, Takwadi, Kumasi is another 300, that's 600. If you, if you add another 600 to Paga, that's, I thought somebody would help me, 1,200. <laughs> Then you have the 800 kilometers. We'll take 200 out of that because the, or the Tamale line is double accounted. We don't want to uh, count the Tamale section. So we add another 400 kilometers or 500 kilometers. You're talking about 1,700, 1,800 kilometers. Over a period, we are going to start developing that over a period of uh, four years. It's going to create 10, thousands and thousands of jobs. And we intend to create a railway industry, not just a railway sector. You saw. A railway training school, for example, and we signed an agreement with the University of uh, Mines and Technology, uh, Deputy Minister here, co-chair of that committee as well. And they are working so we can start training people in the railway industry. Railway is a specialized job, and it's about time that we started training people, and we are working towards that as, as, as a ministry. Meanwhile, the flat rate per person from the Accra Tema railway line has been reviewed downwards to three cities. This is to address low patronage recorded on the Accra Tema railway line after it was revamped. What you told me was Old Testament. The New Testament is now, is now three cities. So check again. Okay. And also the question of the time, we are monitoring. In fact, every morning when the, the traffic manager is here, um, every morning when the train takes off, I'm informed that the train has taken off. When the train arrives, I'm informed that the train has arrived. We could do better, but under the circumstances, they are doing quite well. Now, even the three CDs per, uh, per person, uh, they will look at it. They won't look at it in terms of reducing, but I agree with you that a flat rate has its own problems. And you must put in, in it a system that allows people to pay different rates for different parts of the ride. But you recall that one of the things we said right at the beginning that it is work in progress. You have an option in life. You can complete everything before you start. Or you can reach a certain point that is usable and start and be improving as it goes on. You can finish building your house and paint it before you go and live inside. Or you can finish the inside and go and live inside and be painting the outside. For example, we are now we are addressing the question of some of the stations. If you go to the Accra station just now, we've made the platform more user friendly. The various halts, we are addressing the question of the various halts. So I assure you that it's work in progress and thank you for monitoring. Crude oil sold um, actually traded today at $70.36 a barrel. Um, the commodity update is next. Any your business news tonight, but you can catch more news on our website myjoonline.com forward slash business. My name is Sandra and I'm up in a sports. Week.